Hello ladies, this is the Lady of Lace and I am coming because I um, posted up my um, my new unit that I am adding to my wig collection and I've had several questions so far on it and I can't blame you. I did a horrible job and I apologize for giving out the information on this wonderful product. Uh, this is a full thin skin that I purchased um, from one of my wig manufacturers in China. I either purchase my units from eBay or from um, the three reputable uh, wig manufacturers that I found doing research on the internet and um, and they're usually the only ones that I will purchase my wigs from and if I like the quality or the um, of the, the manufacturer, I will add their units to my wig collection and then I sell them from my wig collection. So if you're interested in any of my units, uh, most of the ones, like I said, I purchase from eBay or from my manufacturers that I deal uh, do business with. If you're interested in any of them, you can PM me and uh, leave me a personal message and I will get back with you and send you my PayPal account and all of that so you can pay for it. And, and that sort of thing. But um, I definitely want to give out some more information on this unit. It is probably going to be my top seller. I love this unit and I'm not just saying that because I want to sell it. I say it because I am a lace wig wearer. I love lace wigs and I um, suffer from alopecia and because of that I have um, conditioned myself to, to say that I will be wearing a lace wig probably from now on. But now that I have found this full thin skin, I probably will now be wearing a full thin skin from now on. It is just so comfortable, so realistic looking. Uh, like I said, this is a full thin skin wig. I have already posted a video on what it looks like on the inside. And when I take this down, I will do another um, cup. I will snap some pictures of the inside so that you can get a better look at it. A, a swimming cap. It feels something similar to a swimming cap and the only difference is it has the hair. Um, I don't. I guess they injected the hair into it because you do not see the knots on the inside nor do you see the knots uh, on the outside of the of the unit and it conforms to your head. This was an in-stock unit and even though it does not, it's a little bit big on my head, I have it uh, pulled down in the back and I put tape on the nape area. And I can still, if, if you can just watch the hair, if you pull it, if it really was conformed to my dimensions, it would be more um, down like that. But because it doesn't, it sits up just a little bit. So I have a little play in the back area because the unit does not fit my head the way um, because it is, it is an in stock unit. But once I get my custom made unit, and I will be getting one, um, it will be more fitted to my head. And I would not even have to wear um, adhesive to lay it down because of the tightness of this cap. It should conform to your your um, head dimensions and you can go with or without adhesive and that is what I love about it the most. Um, when I was doing my research I was looking for something that had a natural looking part that um, did not show the knots in it and also that is you don't have to have adhesive if you don't want to. Um, because I shave my head pretty much I don't have hair underneath the wig cap um, and so I using bobby pins there's nothing for the bobby pin to hold on to so I needed a, a, a base on my lace wigs that will kind of contort or conform to my facial uh, and my head dimensions so that if I decide to wear a uh, lace um, adhesive then I, I will and if I don't have to I don't if I don't want to I don't have to so and that's why I chose 
a full thin skin. Uh, my manufacturer just happened to have one uh, in stock when I was looking for one and I jumped on it and I am happy I did. Like I said, even though this one does not have the same color of my skin tone as my, my scalp is not the same color as my skin tone, it still looks very nice and very realistic and I am loving it. I thought when I first um, got it, um, it was already cut. There was no lace or any uh, additional um, thin skin around it to cut off. It was already pre-cut for me. And so um, the hairline, as you can see, um, it's a very nice, very nice hairline. I am enjoying this. I'm loving this wig. And the fact that it has that grayish look uh, to the base, the thin skin is a grayish look. I thought I was going to have to do a lot of doctoring up on it to get it to match my skin tone, but you can't even see the gray. I mean, you can't see, you know, the um, thin skin at all. And it comes with so much uh, wispy hairs, this particular unit comes with a lot of wispy hairs which gives it even more a more realistic look so I am very pleased very pleased with it and that is why I will be adding it to my wig collection I do not add all of my units to the wig, wig collection because some of them just don't make make the cut but this one I would definitely add to my collection and um, I kind of have some tape in the back of it just to um, keep it from just moving around. It's not really adhered down um, very tightly because the tape I'm finding out using straight tape in the back is probably not the best tape to use. You probably want to use the Vapon because they're pre-cut and they're smaller and that way um, they don't um, the tape won't what I'm trying to say the tape won't try to give as you're moving your head back and forth up and down the tape because it's that long strip it's trying to keep your skin in that in that spot and by using smaller tape sizes, you can uh, leave little gaps in between it and uh, have a better and secure hold. So right now I'm using long strips because I didn't have any of my Vapon tape handy. So it kind of gives away a little bit, but because this is a thin skin and not lace, it's not damaging the uh, unit at all. I'm loving it. All right, so I'm just going to give you a, a view of the back. And with the um, thin skin, because it is, it's, see how well it's tapered down? But I can still lift it and reset it. So, but you can also use a liquid adhesive and that way it won't lift up as easily as it does with just using regular tape. I don't know how uh, it will hold when I start the Vapon tape. The Vapon tape may hold a little bit stronger uh, than my blue super, uh, super lace tape, but I'm liking the way uh, this tape is holding it and releasing it because I can always take it up and reset it if I need to. I'm glad to be able to come back and just give you a little bit more information on this unit. Look how beautiful the waves are. So um, hopefully that answered some more of your questions about this unit. Beautiful unit. I love it. I've been wanting a realistic hair, um, hairline as well as a realistic scalp. And this product gives me both and uh, I will be doing updates to let you know how it's holding up as I continue to wear it.
All right. Well, this is the Lady of Lace. I just wanted to come back and give you some feedback on this unit, and I will continue to do that. Uh, so please come back and uh, make your comments, your ratings, and subscribe. Thank you, and be blessed, and a blessing. Bye.